Okay. Zesty, zesty out. Good morning, YouTube. Oh, coffee. Hot coffee. All right. Here we go. Off to work. Pound ground. You just keep getting ready. Okay. Are you ready? Um, see, these are like monthly. I, like I love you. True love is yeah. taking over the vlog. <laughs> Watch out. All right, it was. I filmed a little bit this morning. It okay. was freezing this morning. Oh my gosh. We're back in a warm house, waiting for the boys to return. True love. Remember, I think ten days ago we asked you all, would you like some more videos with financial tips and tricks for 2018? Yeah. So here we go. I'm walking away. True love's taking over. <laughs> this is just the beginning. But it's 2018 now, and I think a lot of us are trying to get our finances in order, set things up right at the beginning of the year so that we don't fall into bad habits or debt down later on. So for $3, three, three, three dollars, I'm here to share how you can get your finances in order for 2018. First of all, you need to go to the Dollar Tree. Second, you need $3 and some change for tax. They are selling this little thing. How precious is that? And then on the inside, it's, um, it has all the 12 months with an expense report down here, a little envelope for you to put stuff in. And so, as you can see, I filled out my February and I just have a few sticky notes with reminders of things not to forget to add or if anything changes or things come up. And then in these little folders, which I love, like this is our Costco renewal form. So that's due in March, we owe 20 bucks towards that. And then um, I put a few of these sticky notes, but then like this beautiful friends of ours, save the day, you know who you are, are getting married in June. So I stuck that in the June, folder so that I know to be preparing for like a babysitter that night and a present and things like that. So this is just really simple. It was $1. Next, you need a little box like this. Also at the Dollar Tree, $1. And I felt like this wasn't like the cutest thing ever, but it fits perfectly in my drawer and it's perfect size. And then my friends, 80 envelopes for $1. Now I understand Etsy is so cute and you can spend 50 to $75 on the hand sewn Oh my gosh, beautiful zipper cash envelopes. But listen, you don't wanna be spending $50 on your cash envelope. You wanna be saving that money. So for $3, you have all of this. Now, if you're fancy, whoa, and you wanna buy labels also at the Dollar Tree, which I did, then, then you would need $4. That's for the fancy people among us, the wealthy, let's say. Okay, so I am one of the fancy ones and I bought the labels. And these are, this is all the things that have come out every month. So groceries, baby, Oh, no, I'm not going to tell you his name until he arrives. Extra expenses. This is just for things we may have forgotten about. Landscaping we try and save every month. I send my sister Kate pictures. Okay, different things like that. Then this one is for things that happen every now and then or once a year, like swim lessons for my boys or our anniversary or I have a little spa fun for myself because God is good. And then this is, I even keep one for receipts. So you know how Target, and we pay for everything in cash. So if we ever wanted to return something, I need the actual receipt. Um, so I just stick that in here. And for $3 or four if you're fancy, you have the most simple, perfect little cash envelope system. And then before I go to the grocery store, before I need to use anything in here, I just come in here and I grab it. I go to the grocery store once a week. Um, so it's very simple. And you're not gonna have to restock up on these for a long time. This is gonna last you a whole year. The point is saving money by not buying that cash envelope on Etsy, by not spending $400 getting your budget ready for the year, just a few dollars to get organized, means you'll have extra money to put towards the fun stuff in life, like date night. Yeah! It's the best. Like tonight, we're going out to a really fun place, the Alamo House, that has movies, which you know we don't see movies that much, but we had some really good ones coming down the pike. And while you're eating, you can order. While you're watching the movie, you can order your food, and you you basically eat in the dark. It's oh, delicious. Yes. Cheese burgers, and oh, yeah. oh. the caramel milkshakes. So don't run out and spend a ton of money to get your life in order. Run to the Dollar Tree, bring four dollars max, and set yourself up for 2018 to succeed, to tell your money where to go. And one last little tip is always, when you're doing your budget, do the zero dollar budget, which means 
however many dollars are coming in, you tell each one of those dollars where to go. Don't just put in, <laughs> if you're lucky enough to have extra, once your bills and things for the month need to go out. If there's an extra amount of money, tell it where to go. Savings, um, extra date nights, some of these funds like swimming lessons for the boys or vacation in the summer or different things like that that you want. Tell it all where to go. Otherwise, your money's gonna tell you where to go. Hello, we're home, almost home. We saw the movie. It was so good. It was so good. Another Spielberg film. We're not going to give a review right now, but okay. it was good. And uh, we pinched pennies to get there. And so, Hunt, thanks for keeping us on track. Oh, yeah. We, we were saving our dollars, organizing our money, and it was so well acted. It was so good. So I enjoyed it very much. If you have an Alamo house near you and you've never been to an Alamo house movie theater, we highly recommend it. Very tasty and great entertainment. And so fun to eat dinner while watching a movie that someone else cooks and cleans up for you. <laughs> hey oh Help. Living the dream life. Seeking beauty. Working hard. Working hard and loving each other. See you tomorrow.